We all heard a statement, nothing comes without hard work and no pain, no gain, right? Well, forget all of that. My name is Lassie Zorosukulova, and I believe in the statement, work smarter, not harder. And today, I'm going to tell you how. To tell you side of my story, I always struggled in school. When I came to elementary school, I was the very youngest in my class, and I was struggling to fit in. I would get pressured by my teachers to get high grades, but never achieve that. I felt like I was always disappointing my parents, especially since my older brother has always been the most diligent student and on top of his class. In middle school and high school, the same story continued. I would fight with science subjects, struggle with having endless to-do lists and never keeping up with them, constantly being late on deadlines and feeling overwhelmed. This journey was tough, but it allowed me to grow as a person and as a student. One of the major reasons I failed to do what I had to do was that I didn't know my why. We all need to find ourselves what is the exact reason we want to do a certain task, how it will be beneficial for our goals for our future. Also define what is productivity for each of us and build up that trust towards ourselves as to be confident in the decisions that we make. And I succeeded in that just recently. Over the course of the holidays, I had an internship at a private hospital for two weeks. I was assisting a pediatrician. There were some minor tasks for me, such as weighing kids, measuring them, and so on. And honestly, I just adore kids. I loved the part of me that they had discovered while I was working with them. It was a life-changing experience. After that, I decided right away that this is what I wanted to do in the future, my whole life. And I never saw school the same way again. I never saw subjects like chemistry and psychology the same way again. I finally realized why I chose certain subjects, why certain topics were taught, and how it would be beneficial for my future patients. And today, whenever I struggle with my studies, I always remind myself that I'm doing this for them, for those kids, for my future patients, for the love, for the job that I really love and want to do. And sometimes even that doesn't help. And for the days when I feel too overwhelmed, I say the simplest trick. And this technique was introduced by one of my favorite influencers of all time, Mel Robbins. And the technique is to count down from five whenever we feel overwhelmed and start executing immediately. The scientific part of this trick is that our brains are wired to protect us. Evolutionarily, we have to protect ourselves from predators. And even to this day, Whenever we feel triggered, our brains turn into this fight or flight mode, which is when we want to fight or run away from everything that feels difficult. What this technique does, it blocks the triggering process so we don't switch to that mode. Also allowing us to take just a minute to calm ourselves down and makes it much easier to start. For me, working smarter is not wasting my time on something that I'm not interested in and taking action because I want to not because I have to or someone is asking me to. So I hope my example can motivate you to find your inspiration to keep going, to keep climbing that mountain, to find your why and start working smarter. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Musa, for that great talk.